Um, hey, what's up? It's Tony Campos. It's Chris Kong. You're watching Infest Comics TV. That Hi, this is Rick Osman, and welcome to Invest Comics TV. And our guest this week is Tabitha Stevens, who is doing some voice talent work with Dark Brain Comics and a number of other enterprises. Tabitha, how are you? I am great. How are you? I'm doing well. As I mentioned earlier, I'm fighting a cold, but I'll get through this. The um, the voice talent that you're doing for Dark Brain is actually over. Right now, two different storylines, and you're starting a third one. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. Our first story that um, I did, well, we're still kind of doing it. I think we're going into another one, um, is Mirror, Mirror. And in that one, I, uh, I play a character named Brenna, who's a dominatrix, who is cursed by her dead sister, Miriam. So she's going on this quest to try and break this curse because, you know, any time she wants to fall in love with somebody, she can't because her sister ends up killing that person. Uh -huh. It's very crazy. And the second story is Church of One, and I play Holly, who is a nun, and a murder has been committed at the church of the priest. So um, in that, the detective is one of my good friends from the band Static X, Tony Campos. Okay. And another detective in that is Raylene, who's also in the Triple uh, X industry, and I got her that job doing voiceover work as well. Excellent. The uh, now, how did you get get involved with Dark Brain? I mean, that's I know it's pretty weird. <laughs> My husband actually got involved with Dark Brain, with Andrew Czar. My husband is on this site called Deviant Art. And, you know, besides filmmaking and um, just producing shows and directing shows, my husband also does photography. So he went onto this site, Deviant Art, and he put some pictures up. And uh, he had seen some of Andrew's work, and he liked it. So um, I, I guess they'd been chatting back and forth, and then Andrew realized that I was his wife and thought, hey, this would be great for these new comics we're coming out with because the comics, not only are they just, you know, sexy comics, they're also X-rated comics. So they get really dirty and hardcore. And what better person to do a voiceover than somebody who's a legend in the adult business? There you go. And that you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the... Um I mean, is this the first voiceover work, or I should say voice talent work that you've done? Have you done something like this in the past, or is it a new thing for you? Uh, let's see. I had done voiceover work before. I had done it on um, anime. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. They, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to put this. Right. Yeah, it was for, for anime DVDs. And I did many, many, many different voices of many different characters. And uh, <laughs> talk about insane. Wow. And I thought that the stuff I did with Dark Brain was pretty, you know, it's intense. It's very intense. And we swear a lot. But when you go to anime and their hardcore section, we're talking like really crazy stuff goes down. Some of the things I left after doing my voice work, shaking my head thinking, wow, I feel like I got raped. <laughs> like, I feel like there's something wrong here because they get really dark, really dark. Yep. So I was used to it. So for me, going into dark brain, it was much easier, whereas I wasn't, you know, going into something where I thought maybe, you know, I was going to have to, like, get peed on or something. <laughs> so. Well, that could end up in some storyline sometime. It could, it could, and yeah. I know how to handle it. I'm good about it. Okay, good. So, uh, do you have, uh, you mentioned that there's a third storyline coming up. Do you foresee this as being a long-term relationship with Dark Brain? Is, is this something that you're truly enjoying? And I know Andrew's hopefully making money at this. Well, I'm hoping Andrew is too, because he works his butt off. And, uh, no, I, I really enjoy working with Andrew and with Dark Brain, and I want to see them succeed. I mean, they put a lot of hard work into their stories and into their art. And even the actors who are doing the voice work, I mean, they're, you know, you have some celebrities who are doing them, and you have people who are, you know, voiceover actors doing them, and it's still very, very hard work. And, um, 
you know, I really think people will enjoy this. And it's cool because it's online. And that's what's so exciting is that it's taking it, you know, to the next level. Yep. And I think Andrew will do really well with that. I'm confident he will. As, as you said, he's working his hind end off to make it a success. And he has a lot of really good talent working with him on it. Mm-hmm. And, and um, I hope that he can pull it off to every degree of success that he hopes for. Now, you, in your day job, so to speak, you've been expanding into the production end of things. Would you like to yes. tell us about that and your website and all that? Or actually, tell us about the production, then we'll come back from break and do the website. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so I've been producing um, adult movies now. For the past, well, I've done some in the softcore genre. Now I'm doing hardcore. I produced 13 episodes of my husband's show for HBO Cinemax, The Erotic Traveler. So I worked with Cinemax for 13 episodes, and those were tough. And now we're doing the uh, the hardcore adult, uh, mostly parodies now, for a company called Zero Tolerance. So I'm mostly producing those, putting those together, casting everybody, you know, doing the things that producers do. We always go the extra mile you know, for our production. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Excellent. Well, as I mentioned, we're going to take just a little bitty break, and then we'll come back, and you can tell us about your website and some of the other stuff you have going. Awesome. Discount Comic Book Service, where you can save 40 to 75% off on new comics, collected editions, graphic novels, action figures, statues, and other one-of-a-kind items from DC, Marvel, Image, Dark Horse, Boom Studios, Top Cow, Dynamite, and many, many more. Go to www.dcbservice.com for easy ordering and fast delivery. Or you can visit our brick-and-mortar location at 10202-C Coldwater Road in Fort Wayne, Indiana. DCBS, welcome home. All righty, and we are back with Tabitha Stevens, voice of several characters on Dark Brain Comics and a film producer in her own right, and she has a website. You want to tell us about that? Absolutely. It's TabithaStevens.com, and I'll spell it. It's T-A-B-I-T-H-A-S-T-E-V-E-N-S.com. Cool. And uh, there is a lot of adult content on there. I've been in the adult industry for 17 years now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've been around for a little bit. <laughs> All of me has been around for a little bit. <laughs> um, so on the site, you'll find all kinds of, uh, you know, different videos, pictures. We even have um, video clips of some of my friends and things like that. I also have um, a blog that's on Tabitha, I'm sorry, Tabitha TV. T A B I T H A T V dot com, and it's a blog about and like my personal stories of like how I got in the business, um, the celebrities I've met and maybe done things with. Um, it's a bunch of cool stories that I'm putting together because I'm going to be putting a book together and I'm going to publish it myself. Excellent. Uh, but I figured, yeah, do a blog first and see how that goes. <laughs> sure. Well, you want to drop some names here. I don't know yet. <laughs> like, okay, like, I'm not gonna say any last names. Um, I'll say the name Charlie. Okay. Um, you can say the last name, and I'll just smile. Well, maybe Sheen, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, can you say the name Mickey? Nikki. No, Mickey. Uh, well, the only Mickey that comes to this sour mind is Spillane, but that's not it. Um, no. Mickey Rourke. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe a breakfast club favorite, Mr. Judd. Yeah. Nelson. Yeah. Uh, I, well, that's that's some pretty good name dropping. That's pretty good company, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, they were very cool people. You, you and, and they're not the just, you know, they're fun stories. <laughs> but, you know, it's not, well, nothing's malicious. I'm not a malicious person. In fact, if anything, like with Charlie Sheen, I'm totally for the guy. And a lot of people put him down. They bash him in the media. I went on to Radar Online and defended him. And I also love Howard Stern. I have a lot. I have seven years on the Howard Stern show as a favorite guest. Sure. And uh, I got a lot of cool stories with that. So. Well, have you been on his, uh, in the studio with him since he's been in Sirius? I know he just signed a new contract with him, a long-term contract. Well, five yes. years is long-term. Mm-hmm. So can we expect to hear you more in Howard in the future? 
Oh, yeah. I, you know, I call into the show not as often as I used to. I've been so busy with my projects. And, again, I was on the show for, like, seven years, and I was on that show a lot. I'd go down to New York and just go on the show. I haven't physically been on the show, I think, in about two and a half years now, just due to, you know, they, they like to change it up a little bit and, you know, you want to put new blood in there and, you know, mix things up. So sure. I'm sure if I ever wanted to go on, they'd have me on. I'm sure I'd just say, hey, come on, let's go. <laughs> so there you go. you got to go on something to, to promote. Otherwise, it's kind of, like, pointless to go on Howard. You know, you want to go in and you want to have something to promote and you want to have a good time. Right. Well, it's kind of, well, unless you're a target of Howard, it's just kind of hard to not have a good time. That is true. But, no, there are people that go on there. You'd be surprised in the adult business. But I just want to smack some of these girls. And, and just, they're idiots. It's like, you know, when you ask them, will you take off your shirt? Oh, will you ride the Sibian? And they say, oh, I won't do that. Hello? <laughs> what do you do for a living? And, no, you won't do it on Howard Stern show? Yeah, you deserve to get kicked off the show. You know, it, you, you got to know what you're getting into before you get into it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not Howard, and I won't ask you to do that. Well, at least not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I do appreciate your candor with this, and I do appreciate the amount of work and the uh, portfolio that you have, because it's vast. And to take that back into Dark Brain Comics or any kind of, of endeavor like that, the voiceover talent or voice talent, which uh, I've done just enough of it to know that it's not as easy as most people think. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how many takes you end up doing, but I end up doing a whole bunch. So it's I can admire that end of your work, and 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 I can appreciate how difficult it can be, particularly when they put in words that you don't know how to pronounce. That kind of because I always I always end up with the the tech geek type script that you know what the hell does that mean anyway. But, <laughs> But oh, you know, it's worse. Oh, the, the funny, this is what's crazy. I, and now I understand that. The worst and the hardest thing, and I'm not kidding about this, and my husband helps me with this, you know, when we set it up. He actually records me when we're doing the voices. And it's, it's not so much, you know, well, inflection is a big point, but, you know, when we're talking about just the oohs and the ahs, because I have to have sex in these comics, and the, <laughs> and the breathing... I get lightheaded every single time. I seriously will like curl up in a ball, and it, he has to give me like minutes to, to just to catch myself again. And then I have to drink a bunch of water, and then I'll go back into breathing. But I get really lightheaded from having fake sex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's an insight I hadn't expected, but I do appreciate it. Yeah, so next time you do any of those kind of voiceovers, just know it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it is. I did a running scene one time, and as you may have detected, I'm a heavy smoker. So, uh, yeah, I do know where you're coming from on that, but I, I didn't have to do it repetitively. So. <laughs> oh, no. But anyway, but we're, we're about out of time here, Tabitha. I sure appreciate you being on here, and I, I certainly look forward to hearing your voice in Dark Brain Comics and seeing some more of your work, et cetera. So. <laughs> So we'll look forward to the next time. I'm sure that there will be a next time. Oh, there will. And thank you very much for having me. Thank you. All systems are functional. I'm going to pass the reins to Mr. Jackal, the new king of radio. Is there life on other planets? This is nuclear physicist. Manton Friedman, and now I'm a voice in the jackal's head. It's the government keeping secrets from us. This is Stephen Bassett, and uh, I am now a voice inside the jackal's head. Want to find out more? Listen to the jackal's head on the Soup Media Network. The biggest trick the jackal ever pulled was to convince the world that he doesn't exist.